What's up, guys? My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we are reacting to Marcos Gold and the richest countries in the world. This video was recommended by quite a few people on a few of our Filipino videos, uh, mainly our last one. It was recommended right. a lot. Um, I have no idea what, what Marcos Gold is. Or... Yeah. I mean, the, the way it's worded, the richest countries in the world, so... Does he like just, it, it makes me think of Mr. Beast. So Mr. Beast in the early years, uh, year, he used to do videos of how much YouTubers make and stuff like that, mm -hmm. like the richest YouTubers in the world. So I wonder if it's just like covering like, so this one's like the Filipino, it's ranked number X, Y, Z, whatever. And this is the reasons why it's such a valuable country. I don't know, but before we hop in, guys, go ahead and give this video a like. It would definitely help us out in getting this video out to more people. Also, if you would, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon. That way you guys can be informed icon. every time we do post a video. Icon. And if you want to help support the channel even more, go ahead and click the join button below this video. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and hop in. Let's hop on in. Never heard you Welcome use that to word. Welcome to TV. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification Just like bell. that. Thank you. You're welcome. The list of 11 countries that hold the most gold in their reserves has remained mostly unchanged over the last few years. Flip through this slideshow to discover which central banks value the yellow metal the most. 11. Netherlands. 612.5 tons. The Dutch Central Bank announced That's a lot of gold. Moving its gold vaults from Amsterdam to camp. So real quick, since we're talking about gold really right now. Um, so there's a meteor that is between, I want to say Mars and Jupiter. If we were asking my son, he'd know exactly which planets, whatever planets after Mars. Is it Jupiter? I think so. And apparently they're, they're assuming that it's like, hugely uh gold really and possibly other types of ores and then they said that there's a good possibility that there's diamonds and they said that there's a possibility that uh, either privatized companies or governments are going to want to go and mine it on this one meteor on this one meteor hmm. and it's not projected to hit uh the world but it's projected to pass it mm -hmm. but it's Apparently, they're saying that by the time it gets here, we should be able to know how to get up to it and maybe slow it down mm -hmm. so that they can actually mine it. And I was like, because they said it would be like trillions well, I mean, of time. I was like, wouldn't that like just lower the value of, the, of gold? I feel um, like space gold would be more expensive. It's like, this is space gold. <laughs> but I was like, I, I would figure that that would just kill the value of gold yeah. over mined. New Amsterdam, about an hour outside the city, citing burn and some security measures of its current location. As many others have pointed out, this seems odd, given that the bank fairly recently repatriated a large amount of its gold from the United States. Is that how you spell tons? Number 10. N-E-S? -E oh, that was T-O-N-S. That's what I thought so too. The Bank of India has one of the largest stores imagine. of gold in the world. The South Asian country home to 1.25 billion people, is the second largest consumer of the precious metal, and is one of the most reliable drivers of global demand. And this India's is just number festival 10. And wedding yeah. season, which runs from October to December, has historically been a huge boon to gold's love trade. Number 9. Japan. 765.2 tons. Japan. I'd want to make a tank out of economy. one. Yeah, it's not just one, but a bunch of them of the have metal. a golden tank. Its central bank has been one of the most aggressive practitioners of quantitative easing. In January 2016, it lowered interest rates below zero, which has helped fuel demand for gold around the world. Number 8. Switzerland. 1,040.0 tons. I have a feeling it's going to get crazy. Switzerland which actually has the world's largest reserves of gold per capita. During World War II, the neutral country became the center of the gold trade in Europe, making transactions with both the Allies and Axis powers. Today, we could probably figure out how much that's worth right now. We'll do it at the end of the video. Okay. We'll do much it with the, gold the trading is number, number one. Hong Kong and China. Number seven, China. 
I'm amazed China's that point five tons. In the summer of 2015, the People's Bank of China I'd figured they'd be in the top its three. gold purchasing activity on a monthly basis for the first time since 2009. Although China comes in seventh for most gold held, the yellow metal accounts for only a small percentage of its overall reserves, a mere mm. two point eight percent, the lowest wow. of the top ten central banks with the most gold. China has actually been on a gold buying spree since December 2018, buying almost 100 tons from then through August. Number six, Russia, 2,219.2 mm. tons. The Russian Central Bank has been the largest buyer of gold for the. Is that how they still measure their weight of the gold? Is they use the old school system? I doubt they still do it like that. That'd be cool, though. Actually, <laughs> past seven. I mean, this years, looks like it's in the seventies. Yeah. 2018 to have the sixth largest reserve. Based off of his hairstyle and glasses and stuff. In 2017, Russia bought 224 tons of bullion in an effort to diversify away from the U.S. dollar, as its relationship with the West has grown chilly since the annexation of has the Crimean chilly. Peninsula in mid 2014. To raise the cash for these purchases, Russia sold a huge percentage of its U.S. treasuries. Number five, France, France. two thousand four hundred thirty-six point one tons. France's central bank has sold little of its gold over the past several years, and there are calls to halt it altogether. Marine Le Pen, president of the country's far right national sell any if front I'm trying to party, stock up on it. has led the charge we just get not one only bar, to put bro. a freeze on selling the nation's gold, Look it but up. also to repatriate the entire amount from foreign vaults. Number four, Italy. 2,451 points. These are pretty. Tons. Italy like, I wouldn't think that these would be the, the countries with them. reserves over the years. I mean, the, the most. I wouldn't from either. European Central Bank, ECB, President Mario Draghi, the former Bank of Italy governor, when asked by a reporter in 2013 what role gold plays in a central bank's portfolio, answered that the metal was a reserve of safety, adding, it gives you a fairly good protection against fluctuations against the dollar. Number three, Germany, Germany. three thousand three hundred sixty-six point eight tons. In two thousand seventeen, Germany a completed a four-year repatriation operation to move I a total of six hundred seventy-four tons. tons of gold from the Bank de France and the Federal Reserve Bank of well, New might York be back to its own vaults. This guy lives. That's true. First announced in two thousand thirteen, the move was expected to take this until two thousand twenty to complete. Although gold demand fell in 2017 after hitting an all-time high in 2016, this European country has seen gold investing steadily rise since the global financial crisis. Number two, United States. Number two, yeah. 133.5 tons, Dang. with the second largest official holdings in the world. It's like a brick the wall. The U.S. lays claim <laughs> to nearly as much gold as the next three countries combined. It also has the second highest gold. That's what I'd do. I'd build a house with gold. Yeah, 8,000. <laughs> allocation as a percentage of its foreign reserves at 76%. From that is what so we know, much gold. the majority of U.S. gold is held at Fort Knox in Kentucky, with the remainder held at the Philadelphia Mint, Denver Mint, San Francisco. I've been to Fort Knox. Yeah. Yeah, it was a field trip we did for a weekend. Uh, we were learning about bullion, and and I, I, I don't even think that at the time we were uh, the dollar was backed by beef bullion, beef bullion, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think even the dollar uh, was backed by gold at the time, but we we were learning about bank systems and all that kind of stuff, and we only lived like two hours from it. So yeah, it was kind of a cool visit. You did not get to see any gold. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't even get to go like really like they did tours around the top of it and walked around the premises because it's like one of the most like armored places in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was kind of cool. Go a say office in West Point Bullion Depository. Number one. No way. A million Over a tons. million tons. Now I know why this was suggested yeah. to us. That is, cr I would not have guessed the Philippines has the most gold. Shouldn't in the they world. be like the richest country too? Then that is insane. They are sitting on top of the world's wealth, which was put into a secret account, and it has more gold than anybody knows about. Assets. It's What's gold. going on with this it's guy? More gold than people know about. 
it's over a million metric tons of gold. <laughs> so a million metric that tons was, of gold is that's like Pinoy baiting. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so where's the gold? 400,000 metric tons are in the central bank of the Philippines. <laughs> that is insane. There's over 200,000 metric tons in Union Bank of Switzerland. And some of that gold is buried securely in the Philippines as well. I think they're just replaying some it now. Of it yeah. Is held in various banks, but the bulk of it is in the Philippines. What? <laughs> so the World Bank holds the note on that gold? No. It is in a special trust account that was set up by Ferdinand Marcos. What is going on? The Philippines is the richest country in the world. Even President Ronald Reagan knows and said this. Did you know about Marcos Gold? No. In 1930, Europe was in a depression and Germany was financially bankrupt. An unknown party leader promised the German people that he could create jobs and boost its economy. The Germans dared him and put him in power. His name is Adolf Hitler. In June 1933, the Vatican and Hitler, a Roman Catholic signed the Concordat for Mutual Protection and Enhancement. Shortly after that, Hitler was loaded with money. He built a massive army and manufactured weapons for war. Then Hitler took Poland. Before 1918, there was no Poland. That land was part of Germany and used as a buffer zone to separate Germany from Russia. But when Hitler reclaimed it, England declared war on Germany. Throughout the Spanish occupation of the Philippines, members of the Tajin, Talano clan have been visiting Europe since some of their relatives were English and Austrian. From 1866 to 1898, Prince Julian MacLeod Talano had also been frequenting the Vatican. In 1934, under Pope Pius... I know it seems like we're not reacting to this part. I'm but I'm trying to think. I'm trying to take this all in because I know it's about to get to Marcos. The 12th, yeah. the Vatican negotiated with a member of the Filipino royal family, the Christian Talano clan in Philippines. An agreement was reached that 640,000 metric tons of the Talano gold would be lent to the Pope. This was part of that gold accumulated by the Southeast Asian Empire during its That's glorious insane. reign of 900 years. In 1939, two members of the Talano family and a Roman Catholic priest, Father Jose Antonio Diaz, brought the gold from Cote Kinabalu, to gold. the Vatican. <laughs> After doing this, Father Diaz I don't went think that ship would be able to stay up if it was all gold yeah. Yeah. Oh, City. I know. After World War II, he facilitated the safe return of the 640,000 metric tons of gold from the Vatican to the Philippines. A lease agreement was made between the Talano clan and the Philippines government. A total of 617,500 metric tons of gold was deposited Could in the newly installed Central Bank down. of the Philippines to comply Unsummer? with its requirement <laughs> for gold reserve. Under the terms of the contract, the central bank became the holder of that gold. That lease agreement will expire in the year 2005. Having gained the trust and confidence of Father Diaz, the Talano clan made him the main negotiator and trustee of their gold. Father Diaz, in turn, hired the services of attorney Ferdinand and D. Marcos, then a highly recommended brilliant young lawyer having attained notoriety when he successfully defended himself in a Nalandison case in 1939. The so, I'm more pausing it just so we don't get any copyright stuff, but it seems like everybody, like, I don't know how that would work. Obviously, if gold doesn't mean you're going to be wealthy uh, as individuals. Right. But it seems like isn't that one of the countries that has a lot of things that they're trying to develop? Mm -hmm. Like, couldn't they use that gold to develop? Yeah. And Probably. with that much gold, how much is an ounce of gold worth? Hey, Google. How much is one ounce of gold worth? Here's information from Markets Insider, Business Insider. 
per one gram. What did I say? Gram? Ounce. Ounce. One ounce is worth $1,652. That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And with metric tons of it. What was it? 2,000 tons? No, or it was like nine uh, uh, hundreds of yeah. metric tons. Hundreds. Of, so that's why I'm like, or hundreds of thousands yeah. of metric tons. Sorry. So that's why I'm just kind of like, it should be like Wakanda. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Like, how is it not at that level? It should make Tokyo and. Uh, well, they Hong said it wasn't Kong. part of the federal uh, or the, the, the world's bank trade or whatever. Okay. Like so it's, it's in a private yeah. trust fund. But did they say who it belongs to? Mm -mm. Or they did. I don't remember. Okay. Because I felt like it belonged to that group that gave mm -hmm. to that the clan. Nazi party. Yeah. yeah. So when they got it back, I think what they're explaining right now is that their agreement ends soon to hold that kind of goal. Well, that was in 2005 is when that okay. the lease ended with that place. So I don't fully, maybe I'm just not following along very well. It'll like probably, I'm listening, but I'm not fully under standing. The Tano clan paid commission to Father Diaz and attorney Marcos in gold, 30% from the principal of 640,000 metric tons. In 1949, the two richest men in the world were Father Jose Antonio Diaz and attorney Ferdinand and D. Marcos. That's insane. Between the two of them they legitimately earned and owned 192,000 metric tons of gold. Ferdinand Marcos withdrew their share of the gold from the central bank and minted it. Sometime later, Father Diaz and Marcos brought their gold to Switzerland, in the Swiss Bank Corporation in Zurich. The remaining 400,000 metric tons of Talano gold is in the third floor basement of the Central Bank Minting Plant in East Avenue, Kazan City, Philippines. There are 950,000 metric tons of gold, declared missing in the International Court of Justice, picked up by oh. Yamashita from its European ally, Hitler. Another 250,000 tons of the Japanese loot around Southeast Asia are both now in the Philippines. This country then became the holder of 1.6 million metric tons of gold bars. Some of the Yamashita wow. gold buried in the Philippines has been found. I said 200,000. But the bulk of it is yeah. still buried to this day. And even now, thousands are secretly digging for it, including Japanese treasure hunters. The World Street Journal in its November 15, 1985 issue wrote that two-thirds of all gold in the world is in the Philippines. One third is divided among the rest of the countries in the world. Very few Filipinos know this. In the 70s and 80s, blood money from the Roman Catholic Church, channeled into the Philippines via the Vatican Bank and another foreign power, fueled the flames of dissension in the countryside and on the streets of Manila. A concerted church and foreign civil destabilization. Demolition campaign was waged against Marcos. So people All weren't the happy. In the hands of one man like Marcos was a threat to those who have been used for so long with so much money and power. Marcos became too powerful and would not toe the line of the two established power in the world, the Vatican and the Trilateral Commission, USA Germany, Japan. But Marcos was no lapdog to any foreign power. In his grand plan, Marcos wanted to re-establish the former grandeur of the Philippines and the whole region of Southeast Asia, the former Malayan Empire. In June 1983, Marcos appeared before the first world leaders in Toronto. He announced his plan to boost the economy of the Southeast Asian region by creating the Asian dollar. This would be backed up by the 400,000 metric tons of gold in the central bank of the Philippines and the other gold he scattered around the so region. He, plans to use it he would also add to this his own personal 192,000 metric tons in Switzerland. This Asian dollar, backed up by the two-thirds of all the gold in the world that was in the Philippines, would have made the Philippines money more valuable and stronger than the American dollar. Yeah. This was his vision to raise Southeast Asia to be at par with the rest of the first world countries. When Father Jose Antonio Diaz, alias Severino Sandy Romana, died in 1974 all that 30% commission in gold became legendary Marcos Gold, 
After providing for his family in Marcos' letter of instruction, the whole wealth derived from this was supposed to be given to the Filipino people. This was the Marcos wealth that some politicians and churchmen kept on saying was the ill-gotten Marcos wealth that until today is in Marcos' secret accounts. Here. So did he... Did he never use it? On? I don't fully understand the whole thing, honestly. Like, I understand that some people... Like, it seems like it was pretty crooked. Yeah, I mean, I'm following along. I, I get what's going on, but I guess if I play it a little longer, I'll find out, but... From what it sounds like is he he didn't spend it on the country. I don't understand this guy's reaction. How much is two hundred forty million dollars? Oh my goodness! Is it million billion? Should we start doing our reactions like that? Huh? So should we start doing our reactions yeah. like that? Let us know in the comments if you'd like us to react like that. It's for nine hundred and eighty-seven billion dollars. And if you'd like to see us do that, his headphones weren't even plugged in. This will save the world. The world. So, Mrs. Marcos, are you saying you're open to giving some or a, 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 an amount of this one to the country, to the Filipinos? Well, not, not only the Filipinos, but the world. On April 9th, 1973, Marcos said, My earthly goods have been placed in the custody and for the disposition of the Marcos Foundation dedicated to the welfare of the Filipino people. The last will and testament known to all men, these presents that I, Fernand Marcos, with the views, properties, financial access. Infinity that directly intended for the welfare, the benefits of the people of the Philippine Islands, lands, province, and original certification title number 779 under survey plan number blah, 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 with con constant measurements of 451,000 square meter, uh, kilometers of the total land area covering the island of Luzon to the island of Sabah and registered under the lands of registered act number blah, blah, blah in accordance with the provision ratified by the between the United States of America and Spain dated back in 1898 held in Paris France and the distinguished map made blah 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 I don't know what I'm reading <laughs> <laughs> those funds upon maturities on year 2000 and beyond shall consider it intended for stuff <laughs> you almost read the, the whole thing existence <laughs> of Philippine treasure gold bullion and off ledger black screen accounts as the target cabal Chabal agenda of taking the control of assets. It was Ferdinand Marcos is the custodian of the world assets before FM died. He appointed a trustee to take control over the assets. This trustee remains in secrecy ASM is spiritual or wonder spiritual wonder. wanted to answer the call of the people of the Philippines and worldwide against slavery, poverty, manipulation, and control. So nobody knows who runs the gold now. All men are born equal, naked, without bonds. God did not create man to be a slave, nor did he endow him with intelligence to have him hoodwinked or adorn him with reason to have him deceived by others. True. During a talk show in the US TV, the week following the bombing of the New York Twin Towers, President George Bush was asked this question, which is the richest country in the world today. With a smile he said, the Philippines. Is it real? You decide. Leave a comment down below. So this could not be real? Yeah, I guess. What? Guys, let us know in the comments if you think it's real. Um, or if you have facts to back it up because to me i just think that if it was meant to help 
the Philippines out primarily, there would be that's so much gold. There would be zero poverty. Well, but supposedly whoever has it's pretty greedy with it. Yeah. See, I don't. It, the way that it was done was very confusing to me. Yeah. Like I had a hard time following. Well, I think it's it, the it, voice. Yeah, it doesn't make it easier when it's the robotic, computer-generated voice. Yeah. Um, guys, let us know if you have any other videos about this that you'd like us to react to. Uh, let us know if you want us to react like that guy. Uh, ah! I'll take my shirt off. You guys might click off immediately, but I'll do it. Hundred <laughs> percent. He'll do it. I'm not. <laughs> People already call me the fat guy. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm not looking for more of that. The fat guy on the left. It's all good, though. Yeah. I accept who I am. Uh, guys, again, if you really enjoyed this video, please hit the like if button. If you really enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. <laughs> if you really... If you <laughs> I need you so much. Uh, if y'all want to see our next video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. And if you want to support us directly, hit the join the button and, and join our member program. And with that being said, my name is Miles. Miles. And my name is Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out. Out.